Well, I think we may have a good idea of why Russia was hit by those meteorites today, because it seems that uh, these meteorites have occurred before. And according to this article on EarthSky that was dated the 9th of February 2013, the reason that they actually wrote the article was that it was a great date in science because it was uh, a date when the great meteor procession of February 9th, 1913 occurred. And so the article goes on to say that today is the 100th anniversary of the great meteor procession in which bright meteors were seen to cross the sky on stately, nearly identical paths. On February 9, 1913, 100 years ago today, a strange media sighting occurred over Canada, the US Northeast, Bermuda, and some ships at sea, including one off Brazil. What happened that night is sometimes called the Great Meteor Procession of 1913, and it sparked decades of debate concerning what actually happened. Why the word procession? The meteors in the annual showers that so many enjoy are different in several ways. Meteors in annual showers appear to radiate in all directions from a single point in the sky called the radiant point. In contrast, the June 9, 1913 meteors appeared to cross the sky in formation on nearly identical paths. Their pace across the sky was described as stately and measured also, as they plunge into Earth's atmosphere and vaporise due to friction with the air, meteors in annual showers last only seconds. The 1913 meteors appear to travel almost horizontally, nearly parallel to the Earth's surface, and thus they remained visible to a single observer for about a minute, and the entire procession took several minutes to pass by. Plus, rumblings and other strange sounds were reported, suggesting the 1913 meteors could have been relatively close to Earth when they disintegrated. Some astronomers later concluded that because all sightings of the meteor procession occurred along a great cycle circle arc, the source had been a small, short-lived natural satellite of Earth, a temporary second moon. Other theories attempted to prove here that a radiant point for this shower, just as for any ordinary meteor shower. Well, you are completely wrong, some astronomers, okay? Because uh, they're back, and you got your date wrong too, unless you were trying to throw us off. So um, I don't believe that that was actually the date, February 9, because I do believe that this would happen and coincide with the same time. So I would imagine that it would be easy to uh, fudge that date or even just have that date mistaken. Because it seems to me that these are definitely connected. And maybe even uh, now that they've come back, they're closer to our planet. And uh, by the looks of this, there's more of them. So uh, anyway, I will post this article underneath the video and I suggest you have a good look at it. I would also like to thank the Truth Uploader for giving me the heads up on this information. Thanks very much. Well guys, I will leave it here and as always, peace out.